Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And just to let you know that all of my recordings from all of my podcasts um, are available to stream free and to download free on my website. I hope you're well. And if you've been following these recordings, you'll know that I do a different recording every time and each one is aimed at reducing either or or both uh, relax, uh, stress and chronic pain so if you have chronic pain issues or if you have stress uh, this is designed to help to reduce those physical feelings and in the process they you know also to reduce the emotional feelings of the stress as well so not just in your body the physical uh, part you know the physical sensations of your body changing but also the uh, your mind feeling clearer feeling more relaxed So that's the point of this, these podcast recordings. Now, I'd like you to close your eyes. And firstly, we're just going to get in touch with how you feel. Starting at the top of your head, moving down your body. Not going to try and change how you feel. It's really just observing. So, as I said, starting at the top of your head and your scalp, moving down to your forehead. What I like to do is to get really in touch with the parts of my body. Sometimes I like to move certain muscles. For example, with my forehead, I like to raise my eyebrows and get more in touch with how my forehead feels. And then, of course, as you move down to your eyes, moving your eyebrows again can stretch your eyelids. Maybe by just squinting your eyes a bit, you can get in touch with those muscles around your eyes and for your eyes maybe if you open your eyes and then close them again open and close open and close open and close. You can get an idea of how your eyes are feeling. And also, I don't know, maybe you felt the same as me, but every time I opened my eyes, I felt more of a need to close them again. And every time I closed them, I felt did feel more relaxed. We'll do that again five more times. And each time, you're probably not going to want to open them again, but it might be worth doing it anyway. There might come a time when you just say, no, I don't want to open them. Or maybe you even feel that your eyes just won't open which is a sign of deep relaxation setting in and also a, 
a sign that you have really decided to listen to the words that I say and to go along with what I'm talking about and to make the best use of this session and this time that we spend together. So we're going to open your eyes and close them. Open your eyes and close them. What you may notice is you're blinking more than you would normally do when your eyes are open. I mean, I, I hardly notice uh, any kind of blinking that I do, you know, when I've got my eyes open normally. But just then, I really noticed that I was blinking quite a lot. Which I guess is a sign that your eyelids would much prefer to be closed. Opening your eyes again. And just closing your eyes. My eyelids just closed on their own then. And I'm thinking about opening them because there's two more times to do it. And... To be honest, I don't really want to open my eyes again because they feel really relaxed. Even though I wasn't aiming to relax my eyes, this is just observing how your eyes feel in this moment. But now, as I'm thinking about opening my eyes again, I kind of don't want to. I'm in that kind of, that point of just feeling, feeling that relaxation, but I'm noticing that it's, it's spreading down my body. That sense of comfort is actually spreading through my body. And it feels quite nice. It's very comforting. And it's, it could be quite surprising how much The rest of the body is actually affected by your eyes and the level of relaxation that you are now experiencing in your eyes. But I'm going to try and force my eyes to open. So there's two more times to do it, so I'll do one now. just they don't want to be open I feel the whole of my face just wanting to close my eyes and they closed it's like the rest of my body was just sort of yelling at my eyes will you close we feel way more relaxed when you're closed even my hands are feeling very loose. And then I'm going to try and open my eyes one more time. You may just decide that either you don't want to open your eyes or maybe you feel that you can't. It's almost like they're just sealed shut or glues together. And as you imagine that feeling, the feeling that actually they won't open. So what's the bother in even trying to do something like open your eyes when you know that they are sealed shut? Added onto that is 
you feel so much better when they're closed and you notice how much more relaxed you feel so easily in fact just by closing your eyes so I try and open my eyes whilst focusing in on that idea that they're actually sealed shut and trying to open them when that's not even possible kind of goes against against logic in this moment as well as I just don't want to I'm quite happy for my eyes to be closed and even if that is a signal that your mind has really really started to slow down and clear itself of all negativity and you become very focused on my voice and you listen and even though you may find that you you may start to drift slightly you can still hear my voice so even if you were to float off in your mind my voice will still be with you my guiding voice guiding you through the next short period of time focusing now on your jaw my jaw is feeling really relaxed and I don't know if you can hear but my stomach's rumbling and it happens sometimes when I really relax and even though I've not yet focused on other parts of my body I'm aware that there isn't any isn't really any discomfort I can feel some tightness a little bit of tightness but no nothing that's physically unpleasant in my lower back which is a an ongoing issue it feels a bit tight it also has a certain under the skin itchiness not the type of itchiness that needs scratching but the similar kind of itchiness that you get under a a scab you know when a part of your body is healing moving down to your neck starting at your throat the front of your neck sides of your neck and the back of your neck Now I can feel a tightness in the back of my neck, a little bit, it's, it's not unpleasant, it's not painful, it's just, it's just how it feels in this moment. Now 
I'm going to focus on the part of my neck which is on the right side fairly high up as a focus on that feeling that's the bit that has the tightness and as I focus on that exact part I now notice that that feeling it's just a feeling it's not I don't feel any emotion connected to the feeling it's almost I'm observing it and I can see that it's maybe tight or that there's a feeling there. But I almost don't care. It's not bothering me, it's not worrying me, it's just, oh, okay, that's there. And as I keep focusing on that part, It's just disappeared. It's pretty much just vanished. Is it to become foggy? The part of your body which is maybe tight or has a certain feeling that is different from the rest of the body sort of turns foggy I guess almost like a broken television you know when the television and the the, the pictures really gone bad and I'm going back a few years but you know you could also have a similar thing when streaming, if it if the streaming isn't very good, or a video movie copy, a bad copy, where it's just really grainy and unwatchable, and it's only annoying while you still attempt to watch it and have that idea in your head that it should be perfect, it should be a good quality picture and basically fighting against reality when the reality is it's an awful picture and it's unwatchable and there's no point even trying and now I'm going to focus on my shoulders now that that feeling in my neck is just kind of gone My shoulders are just, they were tight earlier, but now they just, it might sound strange, but they're just there, they're not really doing much, they're just there, and as I move down my body I realise that there's more of the same. There's not really a lot happening. My arms are just there. My hands. My hands are very, and my fingers are very loose. And I, I don't, as a general rule, my hands and my fingers are probably a little bit tighter than I'd like them to be. A bit stiffer maybe sometimes. 
That might just be in a, with age, I don't know. But they feel very loose, very light. As do my arms, my shoulders, my chest and my stomach. My stomach seems to have calmed down as well and it was rumbling at the beginning of the recording now it's seems to have just calmed itself down. There's my back, my upper back. There's nothing happening there. My middle of my back. No, pretty much feels the same as my upper back, my lower back. Now this is weird because if anything, my lower back feels looser than the rest of my back. And that's the part that was feeling tighter. And normally, you know, I have issues with my lower back. Right now it feels almost like there's a, a hole there and the breeze is just blowing in. The breeze is blowing into that part of your body that's just, that was perhaps stiff or problematic or causing discomfort. And it's like that breeze is blown away the cobwebs, blown away the the negativity connected to that part of your body. And it feels quite nice. It feels very loose. And I don't You don't feel any kind of, um, not really any emotional connection with that part anymore. I mean, my mind actually feels as relaxed as my face. It literally seems like there's nothing going on in your mind. It's like there's nothing at all occurring. It's quiet and peaceful. And even though I'm not really being focusing on, on the mind, the mind has decided to just let go of everything. And now, focusing on your hips, the whole area between your lower back and your stomach, and the tops of your legs, your hips, your groin, your buttocks, that whole area. And there's not really much going on. It's very much more of the same of that feeling of almost no feeling, just very neutral, very calm, loose. And again, as I'm moving down my legs, noticing your knees, your thighs, calves, shins, ankles. just there, relaxed, not doing anything, just 
feeling peaceful. It's a nice feeling. It's a nice, calm feeling of not doing anything. So focus on your mind. And again, it's just peaceful and quiet. It's a pleasant feeling. Just being here in the moment, although you may find that you start to drift in your mind, perhaps partly due to just how relaxed you're continuing to feel. And there's that familiar feeling that comes with possibly feeling this way, which starts to attract you towards the very short process of falling asleep. Because 99% of falling asleep is relaxing. The last 1% is literally just moving in that direction. Unobstructed. Free. Relaxed. So calm and safe. Calm and safe. Loose, calm, and safe. And the more time you spend. Feeling like this, the more deeply relaxed you become, and that healing benefit of that healing energy spreads forward into your timeline, into the future, so that every step you take. Walking in that healing energy, feeling wonderful, feeling safe. 